My name is Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording, and what you just heard is a custom wavetable on the Novation Peak. That's right, Novation has finally made wavetable editing available on the Novation Peak. I, like five minutes ago, opened up this wavetable editor and I've already been having a blast. So, um, I am going to show you a little bit about how it works, and we're going to make some wavetables, look at the tools, and uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. This video is probably coming out on the release day for this, and that's because I am now unemployed. <laughs> I lost uh, I lost my job this week, uh, my full-time job. So I'm a full-time content creator now, which means zero day hype for all the fun stuff. I'm gonna start making silly faces in my thumbnails. I'm going to uh, use hyperbole in my, uh, in my video titles. You get ready, get ready for the question marks and explanation marks and red arrows in my thumbnails. It's gonna be a blast. With that said, let's get on with the uh, the Wavetable Editor. So this is Novation Components. Novation Components is the librarian and now editor for uh, for various things here. So um, if I go home here, I will go to Peak. So once I've hit Peak, uh, I can go to the Wavetable Editor and uh, we can get started. So um, you can see on the left here that we have a list of custom wavetables from Noisia. So let's go ahead and just click one of these and see what's going on. In case you don't know how wavetables work, it's basically a lookup table of well, it's like one, two, three, four, five different waveforms. And as you sweep through the shape amount, you're gonna pass and morph through these five tables here. Um, let me go ahead and make it a knit patch so we can hear these a little bit better. And I'm gonna change this over to morph to have a wavetable. And then I'm gonna turn this knob here until I get to the new wavetable section at the end. These are all wavetables that came with it. But if I go all the way to the end, you can see I now have 10 user slots. And the first one there says Noisia. The other thing I'm gonna do is over here, it says live edit. When I click this on, anything I do in this wavetable editor automatically talks to the peak and you can in real time um, hear what you're doing to the wavetables and uh, which wavetables you've selected, which is really cool. So here is our pure wavetable with this bass growler one. If we go down like another octave or so, we can get some, maybe not that far. Then distort it. And of course you have the option, if you go um, down to mod envelope one, you can have the shape um, be modulated by the mod envelope. You can hear that being modulated there. And in addition, go over to the LFO one and have this uh, modulate the wavetable. So let's go ahead and turn that to there, turn the shape. Pretty dope. Let's see. Um, you can go through all of these noisy wavetables here and load them up into your peak. I can uh, choose one of these and say send to peak and then choose one of the uh, 10 user wavetable slots that are over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, yeah. Man, this is not your grandma's peak anymore. Listen to that shit. That's some that's some serum shit right there. I love it. Uh, obviously, yeah, you can um, go through here and fill up these wavetables. And then uh, switch between them. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So um, there's a bunch of wavetables here that you can choose from to get started. But I think the real power here is um, making your own. Let's go ahead 
and make our own wavetable. Uh, we're gonna hit new wavetable, I'm gonna hit create wavetable. Now we have one, two, three, four, five sine waves. Okay, so now we are uh, experiencing five sine waves. No difference when we switch this around here. But when we start adding harmonics and stuff and playing with these tools here and drawing our own wavetables, um, we'll get new stuff. So over here you can see we have some um, tools like square wave, so I can draw a square wave. And now you can hear that all the way over here in the left position, in the wavetable one position, we have uh, like a complicated square wave. Down here, you can start morphing partials and doing some math to the whole thing, which is really cool. So if I hold this down to preview, you can hear all those cool harmonics and stuff that I'm getting. I can also, well, I showed you I can draw. I can also uh, go over to like the uh, pen tool here and actually draw something. Or I can use this to draw a more mathematically sort of static wave. There's also a grid that you can define here. So let's say this is an eight by eight grid. You can now see that I'm snapping to it. So if I just wanted to make like a saw wave, I could do that. Or a triangle, excuse me. <laughs> a saw wave would be like, like that. There's a reverse triangle. So pretty damn cool, right? And then still you have the ability to screw with this. So you can see I just folded that wave. So these are the harmonic orders down here that you're adding to the whole thing. I don't know if you actually get back to the original wave. Doesn't look like it. It's gone, baby. So one of the cool things you can do here is let's say, let's draw a sine wave. Make this by two, and there's a sine wave. It's a little folded, but I think we can, there we go. There's a more pure sine. It's out of phase with the other one, so when we do this, we'll hear a slight difference as it switches phase. But with my grid this small, I can go, ahead, let's say I want to do uh, that triangle wave that I showed you earlier. So I can do this. Oops, we want to snap to grid. I can do this. Oh yeah, all right. So you can hear there that I've now gone from sine wave to triangle. You can hear that I'm adding harmonic content as I make these more complicated. So we'll do like, we still wanna have our zero crossing in the right place. There's a more complicated square wave. And then over here, let's just do something crazy. This uh, noise wave over here is fun. There. And there's a big, ugly noise. So instead of just treating this like, you know, uh, I wanna make the biggest wub in the world, you can also basically make something that goes from very chill to less chill. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty goddamn cool. Let's just go ahead and make another one just for fun. And then let's mess this up. You can hear that we have uh, a phasing issue because we did not zero cross Oh, I like that one right there. That's awesome. So many harmonic variations. 
you can get with this. This really, really opens up the peak in some interesting ways. I mean, the wavetables that they had before were pretty good, but um, this, this goes a whole, whole other level in terms of what's available. So as you can hear, wavetables can be pretty too. Which is nice. All right, let's try importing some wavetable wavetables. Let's see. All right, so let's go to import audio file and pick one of these wavetables here. Um, I'm gonna import the whole wavetable and it looks like it's chopped it up into five different bits. Yes, indeed. Ooh, that one's cool. Let's see what that one looks like. Awesome. So this is a way to get, uh, maybe you have a bunch of wavetables that you have collected for serum or something like that. This is a way to get them into your peak now. Wow. All right. Well, uh, that's about it. I think I have blown out my eardrums. Um, that is the uh, new wavetable editor and wavetable importer feature for the Novation Peak. 10 slots for custom wavetables, a bunch of noisier wavetables, access to uh, the magical NASA sound library right here, and the ability to import um, audio files as wavetables. If you thought the wavetables in the Peak were lacking, now you can put your money where your mouth is and make your own, and uh, that's fantastic. Since I am unemployed, I will say, um, if you like these kind of videos and want to support me, I have a Patreon, and you can check the link in the description. Uh, otherwise, I hope this has been informative. My name is Jeremy, this is Red Means Recording, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.